All right, we're gonna do something a little different today. We got our dog cleaned up. Hey, come here, come here. What do you see? Yesterday she rolled on a dead varmint of some type and she just smelled awful. And of course, everyone goes to pet her on the head and she rolls usually right here on the neck. Your neck smells nice now, took a bath. What are we doing today? Let's take a step back to a simpler time, mid 90s. Toyota was just coming out with its very popular SR5 pickups. I remember these things when they were new. And in fact, I have serviced this particular truck for over 25 years, maybe longer. I can't, 25 years is a long time to remember, so I don't exactly remember. But the owners of this truck brought it to me when it was relatively new. It was probably five years old, uh, 1996, I think. No, it had been three years old. Uh, less than five years um, and it's still with me today although today is the last day it's being sold they've had it that long they bought it new and I've been servicing it for a long time it's been a great truck it hasn't needed much uh, over the years I think it needed an exhaust system a timing chain a clutch what else nothing really major uh, brakes tires that type of thing um, it had a few little quirky things. I think maybe the wiper motor went out, something like that. But it's a 93 Toyota truck. They don't call them Hiluxes here in the United States. But um, just a good old truck. Uh, Four-cylinder, four-wheel drive, extra cab, cloth interior, nothing special. But a pretty good old truck. It has the sliding rear window for the back of the cab which then goes out to the canopy which has a sliding rear window just very simple a fiberglass canopy that matches the same color of the truck the truck has you know worn a little bit in the time that i've seen it the seat is a little worn not too bad the clear coat is starting to peel in a lot of places but i guess that's to be expected as well the clear coat on the top of the doors is getting bad it's it sits outside it's well taken care of well maintained it has low miles let's see how many miles it has on it it has 149 almost 150,000 miles for a 93 that's not bad it has tilt steering it has cruise control it does not have air conditioning isn't that crazy no air conditioning and no power windows so crank up windows no ac it does have a stereo. I think it's got speakers under the dash here, which don't sound the greatest. And I think somebody put speakers in the back. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it's got speakers underneath the bench seat in the back there. It does have a tiny little bench seat in the back. These flip up and reveal little storage compartments. This was pretty innovative back in 1990, so you can put your, your bungee cords or your booster cables put a extra cabs were not they were considered extra back then they weren't they weren't common like they are today 60 40 seat with an armrest built in Let's see if i can get that armrest to fold down i'm having a hard time really hard time with it why oh there's a strap there so you can rest your arm on there let's take a look under the hood shall we pop this just a simple truck uh it is a five-speed, if I mentioned that, and it does have locking front hubs. Still has the original wheels, which are 15 inch, just simple little things. Let's take a look at the front. Sealed beam headlights, the seven inch, no, no. Yeah, those are the big square ones. Um, no brush guard, no nothing. Pretty straight truck. It's got a few dents in the back. We'll go over that in a bit. I think it's just mostly from being parked on the street in an urban area. Let's open this hood. Oh, the hood is extremely heavy. Where's my prop rod? Hold on a second here. Again, it's a four-cylinder. Get my prop rod up in that hole. There we go. And it is the, what's called the 22RE engine with the flapper door style mass airflow meter. You can see the as the engine needs to ingest air, this trap door opens 
to let more air in and that meters our resistor in here i remember back in the day we had to fool with these to make them pass emissions so the air is drawn up through the air filter past the air flow meter through this tube and into the engine and pretty reliable stout little engine this one's got the the fuel filter mod the factory puts the fuel filter underneath the intake manifold where it's super difficult to change and we'd like to change that once a year it's it's been a while since we, we've done that but the truck is in for its last oil change with me it's going on to a new owner and probably a new life pretty cool old truck uh, let's see what else can we talk about here um, I think I mentioned it has no air conditioning just very simple four-cylinder 2.4 uh, I think it is it's a 22 RE I believe it's a 2.4 liter sort of underpowered but nonetheless very robust engine let's take a look at the side of the truck here it's got the graphics from the 90s has a little bit of body damage there somebody was going to fix it, it looks like and a step bumper and of course the old toyota st style just tape on in the back pretty neat old truck i'm sorry to see this one go it's not like it's going away far but still i'm not sure the new owner will bring it to me that's their decision um, has a rack on top uh, pretty neat little truck let's start the engine up because i know that's something that everyone wants to hear it has a kind of a sound of its own so we're gonna make sure it's in neutral turn the key press our foot on the dash or our clutch sorry and the engine revs up just like it should let's take a listen you hear that it sounds very familiar to me i've worked on it lots of these trucks over the years running good no timing belt slap no knocking no valve ticks it's a perfect running example it's going to idle down here once the fan clutch kind of stops moving the exhaust manifold's not cracked neat old truck has a tilt wheel forgot about that that was pretty innovative and uh, intermittent wipers wipers even work the washer even works pretty cool all right well i guess enough reminiscing about this old girl i'm gonna miss it um i don't see too many of these trucks anymore but boy back in the 90s i worked on a lot of these great great trucks all right just wanted to give you a little blast from the past i know it's not that interesting not that uh wild of a crazy car but still has a lot of sentimental value for me and a lot of a lot of people thanks for watching